the following thesis is based on power quality improvement by distribution static synchronous compensator that is DSTATCOM. It comprises of the principal and various control strategies for the working of DSTATCOM. Among of the various distribution effects controller, DSTATCOM is an important shunt compensator which has the capability to solve power quality problems faced by distribution system. A DSTATCOM is a voltage source inverter based effects controller sharing similar concept with the STATCOM used at transmission level. This is a basic block diagram of a DSTATCOM. It consists of a disturbance identification controller block, a controller and PWM technique block and a VSC. Here VM is the voltage at point of common coupling and VI is the voltage of the device. The basic principle is if VI is greater than VM it supplies reactive power and if VI is less than VM the device will absorb reactive power. The control algorithm for the device includes measurement of system voltage and current and signal conditioning, calculation of compensating signals and generation of firing angles of switching device. The basic controlling schemes are IRPT, SRFT, price power theory, phase control method and hysteresis current control method. The figure shows the basic block diagram of phase control method. Here the VRMS value is compared with the reference value which generates an error signal which is given to the PI controller. The PI controller gen generates an error angle delta which is compared with the phase angle delta and the error angle is supplied to the PWM generator which in turn generates the firing pulse. The main aim of this algorithm is to control the magnitude of voltage and maintain constant at the voltage fluctuation is more sensitive. This algorithm uses the sinusoidal PWM technique to generate the triggering pulses for a switching of VS. The error signal is generated by comparing the measured system RMS voltage and the reference voltage. In the next stage, the PA controller will process this error signal and then the output is the error angle which is provided to the PWM generator. The figure shows the basic circuit for implementation of phase control method. This shutcom has been connected to the line through a circuit breaker. This is the output of phase control method. Here load 1 is connected and after 0.2 second an inductive load is connected which results in a voltage sag. When this shutcom is connected after 0.3 seconds the voltage is again maintained at 1 per unit. One, two, three. The same MATLAB simulation can be performed for RC load as well. As similar to RL load, the configuration of VSC and of circuit breaker is same, only the road has been changed to RC. This is the output waveform for RC load where load 1 is connected for 0.2 seconds. When load 2 is connected, a uh, capacitive load 2 is connected, there is a voltage swell and after connection of these at 0.3 seconds, the voltage again maintained at 1 per unit. It is the internal structure of the statcom where VRMS is being compared to a reference value and in turn we get an error signal which is fed to the PWM generator. The output of PWM generator is the, are the pulses which are fed to the inverter device. The internal control block is shown in the figure. Here VRMS is convert or compared with V reference that is 1 and the error signal is fed to the PI controller. This PI controller output is given to the control block where error signal is generated and error signal is given forward. Now the second method we have implemented is decoupled current control theory. The figure shows the basic block diagram for generation of pulse signals or other I should say control signals for con controlling the inverter device. The following is the circuit for IRPT. It is a MATLAB simulation. Here the main disturbance occurs at the distribution side. So the sampling is taken for distributed current and at distribution sites and the current has been compared with the reference value through the control block. These reference values are fed to the controller which generates an error signal and the error signal is given to the inverter for its controlling dip, for controlling the output waveform. The basic control strategy of IRPT has been implemented in MATLAB. There is a main circuit diagram where VABC and IABC are the current and voltage waveform at the distribution side. They have been converted into V alpha, V beta and I alpha, I beta format for the generation of reference signals. They are being generated by an algorithm known as tax transformation and this life transformation has been implemented in the alpha beta current block. The compensating current from the controller that is IC1 and IC2 are fed to a control system wherein the reverse flag transformation occurs and the reference signal generated are ICA, ICB and ICC. These reference current signals are generated with the inverter current. Initially when inverter current is zero and these reference signals are compared that error is generated and the error is fed to the PWM system 
other i should say pwm is not used in the system hysteresis control current control is used for generation of reference signal these reference signals are again supplied to the inverter device for its control operation in this simulation circuit